How is it going guys? Koji here at traincomplete.com. Have you seen the new Maze Runners? No, oh, fuck it. How is it going guys? Koji here at traincomplete.com. Have you seen the new Maze Runners? Maze Runner. Why wait? <laughs> How is it going guys? Koji here at traincomplete.com. Have you seen the new Maze Runner? Those guys that run a lot. And the reason why they made it so far is because they are fast. But not just that. To go through that crazy maze and all those zombies, their agility and reaction time has to be sharp too. So I thought I'm gonna come up with a workout would increase all those abilities what needs to be a maze runner. So get ready for the Labyrinth Racer training. As you can see, I do a mixture of uh, dynamic and static stretching as well. So I've done some forward lunges, side lunges, some stretching on the floor. I don't really suggest to static stretching before workouts, so I prefer dynamic. But as you can see, I don't hold those stretches too long. I'm just, it's either just lengthening those muscles to get the blood flow there. Uh, I've done some uh, stretch for the hip flexors, glutes, outer thighs. Uh, quads, we're gonna really focus on the acceleration in this workout. So get those first two, three steps really fast as possible. And then not focus on the top speed today, but acceleration. If you think about it, when you when you accelerate, so the first couple steps, you need to be in like a little bit in a in a 45 degree uh, degree angle position. It's kind of like you're running up hill, so you need to be up here, and then really push those those steps and really push through each steps like you wanna climb, be inclined. While you're on top speed, you're more like up here. So what I noticed there are two kind of uh, runners so either if they want to accelerate they usually bend from bend from the hip so it's really like a straight running you just bend from the hip which is not too efficient and the other one is like they really start running up here so what I need to teach them is there's two kind of starting position from uh, top to bottom or bottom up position uh, so what I've been doing here, you can see the, the, the bottom start. So it's like a push-up position. You jump up and you stay running. So uh, it's going to force the athlete to come up in incline position and start from there and really accelerate from there or, or a jump back start 
is going to fold my, my hip back and then it makes me accelerate in an inclined position. So that's the two what I've noticed the most. So that's the best. There's a lot of variation where you can do this, but make sure you work from bottom up or, or up to bottom, top to bottom. So film yourself. If you see you bending from the hip and you're more like here, then I would suggest to do the fall back start or a, or a kickback start and, and learn from that. And if you are more like a, a top runner, like a straight runner, then I want you to start from the bottom uh, for like a jump back start from the bottom on a push up start. And it's gonna really make, gonna make you to, to stand up a little bit. I hope that helps. So let's go to the next exercise. So the next drill I'm, I'm doing is the different kind of shuffle start. So I'm gonna shuffle from the side and then I'm switch direction and then sprint straight. Uh, I do different kind of variations. I'm gonna use a, a weighted vest. Uh, if you're training alone, it's, it's a good way to add some extra weight on you. So practice on that and when you take it off, you're gonna be a little faster because you recruit more muscle fibers. Uh, you can do it with the bend as well. If you have a partner, you can hook on yourself and then he can pull you back a little bit on your hip. Uh, I'm gonna use the hurdles as well. So using different kind of reactions, side to side, switching position, uh, really just training uh, the core a little bit more and to be able to do that switching from, from one direction to the other. Just like in the labyrinth, uh, if the wall comes around, you have to switch direction, switch your body position and be able to sprint as fast as you can. Reaction training, so try to ball, uh, toss the ball to the wall, and then grab it, catch it from different angles. So I'm doing like front jumps, side jumps, lateral jumps. So just on different kind of uh, angles, catch the ball and try to stick that landing. Uh, training your your joints, ankles, hips. Just really uh, focusing a bit on the stability. You can really increase your, your reaction time because it's all in the nerves. So how fast you can react for a certain action. So something coming from the side or a switch direction, you can't really change it. This is more from the nervous system, but you can change the time between the reaction and the action between the, you realize the danger or something on the side and then how efficient you can move from there. So that's what we're doing here. So jumping from different angles, stick the landing, work on the stability. Uh, and then after that, I'm gonna train some weight on the legs, which you can use for the sprint. But I'll tell you in the next set, so stay here. Oh, <laughs> 
after the reaction training, I'm just do some weight, weighted back lunges from the elevated start. So it's really just to uh, increase the range of motion. Uh, three sets, eight to 10 reps each leg. And then I'm supersetting with, uh, with the ball throw. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can do a box jump here because all the a box jump is, it's a hip hinge. I mean, the, it's a hip flexion. So if you end up in a hip flex position, that's what you're gonna use in a sprint as well. So if you're efficient in box jumps or any kind of forward jumps, then you're gonna be better and more efficient on the, on the sprints as well. And now I'm gonna finish with some circuit, just a core circuit. I'm gonna do kettlebell swings, uh, sprinters, sit up, and some plank variations. Three sets, really quick, back to back, just like a couple of five minutes at the end and uh, work out them. There you have it guys, that was my Labyrinth Racer workout. Hope you enjoyed the workout and the movie as well. Um, if you wanna be better in running and sprinting, then don't hesitate to contact me. Share the video if you liked it. And give me some questions if you have any in the comment section. I'll catch you in the next one. Train complete guys, train complete. Hey, before you go, I just wanna thank you for watching. And if you are about to change your body, but you don't know where to start, go and have a look on my website and sign up for my online training. Or if you are in Brighton, come and see me in Pure Gym. Check out my Facebook for daily tips and my Instagram for motivation. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.